shooting tip number two has to do with the COM port itself either not being enabled or simply being a port that doesn't want to communicate with the real world certifier necessitating you to change the COM port number that it's on. Like with all troubleshooting you want to make sure the real world certifier is on. Let's go ahead and turn it on and that it's resting at the main menu. Want to make sure that the cable is firmly plugged in. Let's go ahead and launch our Excel program. I get the hourglass. I'm looking at the real world certifier. So far it's not acknowledging that the PC is trying to communicate with it. And now Excel tells me that no network tester is found. Well, from troubleshooting tip number one, we know we've turned on the macros. So we know it can't be it. So now we want to go look at the COM ports. Let me say, OK. I'm going to exit out of Excel. And to look at the COM ports, we go to the uh, device manager. Now, the method of getting to the device manager could vary depending on the operating system you're using. But in this particular operating system, we go Start, Control Panel, go to the System icon, click on the Hardware tab, and there is Device Manager. If you're having a problem finding the Device Manager on the operating system that you're using, go Help and search Device Manager and it should be able to tell you how to find the Device Manager. And the Device Manager layout fortunately looks the same no matter what operating system you have. And what you want to focus on is ports because it's down in ports where it shows the COM ports and the printer ports, but all you're interested in the COM ports. Now notice this COM port has a little X by it. It says COM1 with a little red X. So let's highlight it, hit the right mouse button, and it says Enable, which means that my COM port is disabled because it's giving me the Enable option. So I'm going to hit Enable, see what happens. It enabled it, and the little red X went away, and now I'm on COM1. Now, let me get out of here. By the way, the chances of you ever running into that particular problem are very, very small, because COM ports are rarely, if ever, disabled. Let's go ahead now, and let's uh, make sure the Real World Certifier is sitting at its main menu. It is. And let's go ahead and launch the spreadsheet. We get our hourglass indicating some macros are running. We get the talking to PC on the window. Oh, that's good news. It means something's trying to talk to it. And it says, one network tester found. We can then go ahead and work the buttons left to right. Download successful. Edit report. Finish. Now we can do a save as and save this report. Now along the same lines, if you're having problems and you go and use the device manager and you find that the port's enabled, what you want to do is try another COM port. Now I'm going to shut off the real world certifier and then turn it back on to clear the talking to PC and set it back down. I'm going to go back to the device manager to illustrate how to change a COM port. I go to control panel. I go to System, I go to the Hardware tab, I go to Device Manager, I go down to Ports. Now, remember I said you'd rarely find it disabled, but you might have to change the COM port to get the real world certifier to communicate with your PC. So this wouldn't be that unusual to go down to Ports, 
expand it by hitting the little plus sign. There's my COM port. I'm going to double click on my COM port. I'm then going to go to the Port Settings tab. And then I'm going to go to the Advanced button. And the Advanced button tells me what COM port I'm on. Now, if I'm not working on COM port number one for some reason, we can easily switch it to another COM port. Now, use COM ports one to five. That's what the real world certifier is expecting. So one through five. Any of them are fine. I'm going to say OK. I'm going to get out of the device manager. I'm going to go back to my CD. I'm going to make sure the real world certifier is sitting in its main menu. Everything's plugged in. And I'm going to go ahead and launch. I can see my macros are running because I have my hourglass. I see talking to PC. Everything's fine. Uh, there we go. One network tester found. I say OK. I work the buttons from left to right. Import readings. It says OK. Edit report. Finish the report. And now I can do a file and save as. Now this would also be true if you were using a USB to serial converter. Because a USB to serial converter uses the same COM ports. But you'll get a better illustration of that when we specifically take a look at the USB to serial converter usage in a separate video.